Hey Spartans, we are going to go over the best strategies to get a private room in the quad. First things first, you need to understand our application timeline and the process. So first we have the priority housing application, which everybody needs to complete and go ahead and have that contract and the prepayment completed on Artemis. That is the housing application. Once you've done that, you can move on to the assignment process, which is where you can sign up as groups of three, four, two, or one. As you can see here to the right, we have what those groups look like. Now for single rooms in the quad, we have two different configurations. We have what is referred to as single single or a single double. A single single is two private rooms conjoined by the bathroom. A single double is one double room with two people who share that room conjoined by the bathroom to a private room with one person in it. So when it comes to assigning to a room, you're going to need to have that application and prepayment done, as well as if you're signing up as a group, a group pin, which can be configured on Artemis, and then as well as the university ID numbers for the roommates that you want in that space. And then you're going to assign your space. So as a group of three, we're going to assign to a single double configuration, which is Two people sharing a room conjoined by the bathroom to one person sharing a private room. As you can see here, I assigned myself to room 206 and the group, the other two members from my group of three are going to be assigned together to this room here. Like I said, it's conjoined by the bathroom and this is how you would be distributed throughout that style. So now heading over to applying as a group of two. You still need to have that application, prepayment, group pin, and university ID number, and then you can select your space. So as before, just the only difference is now we're assigning up a few days later as a group of two. Me and that person are going to sign up with who has the earlier time. I do, so I'm going to assign myself to room 102, and then my roommate or bathroom mate would be room 104. Like I said, this is a single, single configuration. So one person in their private room, another person in their private room can join by the bathroom. Now, if you have any questions regarding that, you can give us a phone call or an email. And of course, all of our information is on the website. And please follow us on Instagram where we post tips, tricks, and reminders when it comes to housing. Thank you.